start of my Mariposa Lily if they are broad petals. It's geometry. There's that incredible geometry there in the face of the flower. If you can do, so how are we feeling on three petals? Thumbs up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bada boom. If you can do three, guess what? Six. You can do six. How do you do it? Oh Split each one in half. So there's two ways of splitting it in half. I can say, all right, here's my dum dum dum. I can say, I'm going to cut halfway between this and draw that line. But notice that this line is straight with that line. Hmm. Maybe I could also just extend these out. <laughs> and all of your pizza eating friends are happy. Six is good? But wait, there's more. Because if you can do six. Oh, and actually, one other word on the six petaled flowers. When you see a flower with six petals, uh, like uh, right up here at the corner, there's some blue eyed grass. Okay. You take a close look at it, and what you discover is that what you typically see are three petals that will be in this orientation, boom, 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 the peace sign. It will look, will be above the next set of three. And each set of petals will look slightly different. So on these blue eyes grass, uh, one, um, I have You'll often see that we made this geometry by doing three and three. You'll see the same thing, the flowers actually doing the same thing. Um, the top ones are technically the petals. The ones underneath them, those are technically the, what are called the sepals. But on many flowers, you'll see them look really similar to each other. But you do kind of like, hmm, six one, kind of a six petal flower, a little ball goes off the back of your head. I'm going to take a closer look and just make sure that um, they actually, they all look, oh, are they all going to look the same? Go, oh, no, they don't. These ones are going to be skinny, these ones are wide. You've got a slightly different tip, whatever it is that you want. Are you ready for the five? All right. The five petal ones are, are a little bit more difficult. Um, but, but they're going to be managed. Here is, I'm going to start the same way. Here's my circle. And I'm going to start by driving the line right through the middle. Here's that line on the bottom. Right. Like the threes, I'm going to have one right at the top. Hey, good to see you. Hi. Sorry, Louise. Oh, sorry, we, 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 we missed you. We've been looking at flower geometry and, uh, and kind of how to kind of uh, get the framework for a flower. I think you're going. So, um, at, at the end of this workshop, I'm going to have to jump in my car and drive to go pick up my little one. But um, catch me another time, and I will try to um, fill you in on the part that you missed. Okay, thank you. And there's also some online versions of it. Okay. Which also <laughs> um, so we have looked at the geometry of three-petal, four-petal, six-petal, and many petal flowers. <laughs> now we're going to do five. We've got our circle that we've drawn, those two lines, one right through the middle, <laughs> one right along the bottom. How do we evenly get this? Like if you could draw a perfect star, okay, you're great. But when I draw a star, it always ends up being lopsided. Right? And then you've got this star drawn in the middle of your thing. Well, how are these ones set up? It was easy before with the three-petaled one. We came a quarter of the way up, we put those spots in, and we we're out of there. 